I am Eastern Shoshone and Northern Arapaho. I am an artist, I'm a dancer, I am an actress. Growing up in Denver, there's not a lot of connection and I felt like I was um, kind of really sheltered. My dad wanted us to be safe because there was a lot of outside influences that he wanted to protect us from. But my time on the reservation, I was able to play in the rivers. I was able to go run, go ride my bike. So the Wind River Reservation has impacted um, my life and my art process uh, because it's the place where I felt the most free. A lot of my roots come back to the Wind River Reservation. And a lot of the things that I learned here um, have helped me grow. It's home. What got me involved into acting was in 2013 when I became Miss Native American USA. I started to meet different actors and models and I think that that opened up a way for me to learn that I could express myself in a different way. And so as a little girl, I was constantly kind of repressed and told to be quiet and meek and be a certain way. However, acting opened up so many more doors for me and it allowed me to um, express all of the crazy feelings that I, I felt as a little girl. I think that for students to see an indigenous actor on screen, it's important to see yourself in what you're watching. So if I have a white actor portraying an indigenous person painted as red, are you going to see yourself in all actuality in that role? No. You need to see people representing you and you need to see that the roles are portraying the best of who you could be. With my advocacy work, I work a lot with wanting renewable energy and I work with a nonprofit called Colorado Rising. And right now, we're trying to stop fracking in Colorado. And I feel like moving forward, renewable energy is a way to reflect on who we are as a people because it's about uh, reciprocity and how we could give back to the land. I think that that's throughout the, the world where we don't take more than what we need. And right now I believe that the system that we're, we're living with right now is about take, take, take. And I think in the future, our children can change it to where we live mostly with a belief of reciprocity. For me, specifically, the most important land rights and sovereignty issues are food sovereignty and also um, re reclamation of uh, language. Our food is healing. And um, I think that that's important for us to grow our own food and to focus on fresh produce. Um, and then when it comes to the language portion, I think that our interconnectedness with our language would really help us grow as an indigenous people. Students need to be uh, invested into learning about land rights and sovereignty and creating change because you are our next generation. You are going to have the next steps for us. Acting and advocacy influence my artistic process because I feel like acting is a way of expression, um, but the advocacy part, um, it's, it's all intertwined just like a braid. Everything goes in together. I feel like it's important to pick and choose roles and to depict art that convey a specific message. Themes that I want to hit in my art are giving voice and strength to indigenous women throughout the world. I want to tell their stories and through their stories, I want to relate the land that they come from back to them to show how resilient they are through what they survive on a daily basis. Sometimes uh, the wilderness is brutal. Those are the themes that I want to portray. When I'm working on a piece, it's like I'm connecting to it in a certain way where I'm going inside and looking on the inside and seeing what I need to express, but I'm also seeing what I've already created and playing off of it. It's like kind of a dance that I'm having with the piece. The things that I would like to see moving forward within galleries or within museums, I would like to see Native artists shown in different variations of who we are. So maybe one contemporary artist focuses more on palettes. So add that Indigenous artist into that palette gallery. Or maybe an Indigenous artist focuses more on portraiture. 
add that Indigenous artist to the portraiture gallery. Don't just keep us in a box of Indigenous artists. That's what I would like to see moving forward.